Hey guys, it's Cece, and today I am here to talk about my January TBR. So I am here with my second video of the day to talk about all of the books that I want to read in the month of January. It is the beginning of the year, and I have a lot of big goals that I want to accomplish, so I can't control myself. I just gotta set them goals. I have kind of a sizable stack of books that I want to get to in January, so let's just jump in so I can talk about all of them. First, I want to talk about two of the books that I'm currently reading. I've got Buffering Unshared Tales of a Life fully loaded by Hannah Hart. This is sort of a memoir of hers just talking about her life in general. I am about 75 pages or so into it and I am really really enjoying learning more about Hannah Hart, her life, and how she has gained the mentality that she has now on her channel. So I'm definitely enjoying this one and I'm hoping I'll be able to finish it up quickly. I'm also still currently reading A Mortal Song by Megan Crew. This was released a few months ago and I just have been so busy with school school that I have not gotten to it. This is a book that takes place in Japan. It follows our main character Sora, who has always believed she was sort of a chosen one. She is something called a Kami, and she has a lot of these magical abilities, but then she discovers she was actually never the chosen one at all. She doesn't really have any abilities, and she is just a changeling that has been in place in order to protect the person that she has thought she was her entire life. This book intrigued me because I think it is a really interesting reversal on the Chosen One premise. I'm only about 40 pages in right now, but I will say it's very atmospheric and descriptive right here at the beginning, and I'm interested to know more. So, hoping I will finally be able to finish this one off at the beginning of January. A pretty big thing on my TBR, not big as in length, but like a big goal for myself is that I want to reread the first four series of Unfortunate Events books. So the first four, we've got The Bad Beginning, The Reptile Room, the Wide Window, and The Miserable Mill. These are the first four books, and the reason that I want to reread them is because January 13th is when the Netflix A Series of Unfortunate Series goes online, and it will cover the first four books. So I want to reread them so that I am as prepped as possible, and so that I can do discussion videos on the show and the books, talking about them, comparing, and everything. These shouldn't take too long. They are very short books, plus they're middle grade, so I'm hoping I'll be able to finish each of them in about a day. That's the big goal, but I really want to reread these four before the 13th hits. Also, I have a couple of things I need to accomplish for me as a judge in the YA Booktube Awards. There are two things left that I have to read before the live shows happen. All the information about the live shows I will be a judge in will be in the description below, but I will also leave a link so that you can go and find out all of the nominees for all of the categories, because I'm only judging two of them, and there are eight total. So the first book that I need to read for my job as judge is I need to read We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. This is one of the top three books that was nominated for the LG LGBTQIA plus category. The other books nominated were You Know Me Well by Nina LaCour and David Levithan, as well as If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. This book is about a guy named Henry Denton, and things have not been going right in his life. In fact, there is a lot that has been really dragging him down, and one thing that he doesn't understand is that since he's 13, aliens have been intermittently abducting him. These aliens have also told him that the world is going to end, but he has the power to stop it. Unfortunately, Henry doesn't really see from his current frame of mind why there would be a reason for the world to go on turning. And then he meets a boy named Diego Vega, and things start to change for him a little bit. This is supposed to be sci-fi, queer, romance. It sounds weird as hell, but it looks beautiful, and I'm really hoping I'm going to love it. And the other thing that I need to read in order to get set for the YA Booktube Awards is Giant Days Volume 2. This is a comic series by John Allison and Lissa Trayman, I believe. I read the first volume in December and really, really loved it. It is about these three girls starting their first year at university, how they become friends, the relationships that they have, the various things that they go through. I really loved the first trade paperback. I thought it was such a fun one to read, plus I love reading about college, since I'm in college. And one of the main characters is queer. I cannot wait to read this, so I'm prepped to talk about the graphic novel category. In that category, we will also be discussing Lumberjanes Volume 4, as well as Paper Girls Volume 1, so 
also information down below, as I said. But I'm excited to read Giant Days Volume 2 because I really liked the first one. And the last two books that I have here on my TBR are both review books. The first of those is a book called Dreadnought by April Daniels. This is an Own Voices trans novel and it is about superheroes. It is about Danny. She is a trans girl, but she has been keeping that secret until the world famous superhero Dreadnought dies at her feet and Danny inherits her powers. And part of this inheritance of powers is that suddenly Danny gets the body she has always wanted and she can no longer hide that she is a girl, which is an exciting thing because she does have the body she wanted, but now she has been kind of forced out of the closet in a lot of ways. So she is dealing with this, which is very tough, while also dealing with the fact that she is now a superhero and there's a giant villain attacking the city and she's gonna have to defend it. I have been excited about this book for months. It comes out pretty soon on January 24th and I will leave the link down in the description below if you want to go look into it, maybe pre-order it, and maybe support a trans author, which is always good. I cannot wait to get to this one. I have an e-arc of it from NetGalley and I am just psyched. And the other arc that I will hopefully be reading in January is Amberlow by Laura Elena Donnelly. This is a book that comes out in February. I don't know the exact date, just in February at some time. This book has a pretty intense 1920s thing going on, which you can kind of see from the cover. It is about him fighting a rising fascist regime and also the fact that this world is pretty homophobic and he's gay and he has this partner who he's trying to protect and the person that he has to go to is a streetwise nightclub dancer and she is there to offer him advice as well for possibly how to take down this rising fascist regime. There's a lot going on in this book so I'm very excited to read it. I'm thrilled by the cover, the fact that it's a 1920s setting, the fact that there's a gay main character. Everything about this book is sounding fantastic to me so I cannot wait to get to it and talk more about it hopefully at the end of the month so that you know what it's going to be about going into February. So here are my big goals for January. This is the ideal. If I could get to another review book that'd be great. I have a few of those that I really need to read but mainly those books are going to be my focus. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and heard some stuff about books you hadn't heard of before. Please tune in to the YA Booktube Awards live shows. Plus there is also a viewer's choice poll going on, which I will leave down in the description below. That is all about you viewers deciding of the three nominees which ones you loved the most. So go vote for that. Let me know some of the books you really want to read in January and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!